What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It's the Bronco with the Fro, and my goal is to find the best atmosphere in the MLS. Today, we got Atlanta United, Mercedes Benz Stadium. This hoe is huge, boy. Hey, let's see where it goes down. So the rubric I'm using to find out the best atmosphere in the MLS is I'm going to rank the stadium, the supporter section, the crowd, and the quality of football out of 10 and come up with a composite score at the end to see which team reigns supreme. Today we got Atlanta United versus Orlando City. Orlando is Atlanta's biggest historical rival based off geography, man. Let's see what goes down. Look at this generational elite architecture right here, man. This is a goddamn stadium in all caps. It looked like the Germans made this whole. Well, they do got Mercedes-Benz on the stadium. I think Mercedes-Benz German or something like that. I don't know. But this is pretty, man. Now, I started my journey walking all around the stadium trying to see everything that it had to offer. They had tailgates going on. This was the main tailgate, though. But they had different games and stuff for the fans to play. They had a DJ. You had murals painted you had sculptures you had fields set up for kids to play in it's a nice little setup bro like i say man the whole landscape of the stadium is elite as hell so after i left that area i made it a mission to go find a supporter section and watch them boys walk into the stadium man it was a lot of of them it was very diverse all these different cultures and backgrounds coming into one supporter section to make one big conglomerate of goddamn atlanta culture look at this look at this i got my expectations high for atlanta united everybody told me to come here I'm here to see Diego Almada. You know that boy is a dog. I walk by this spot called ATL Grill, and you know my cheap ass. I say $5 cheeseburger in a stadium? Man, go ahead and give me that bacon cheeseburger. Let me go ahead and see how it is. So I got this bacon burger for $7. I can see why it's $7, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I guess, bro, I guess. Fries, these was like $2 or something like that. Nah, that was four. Fries is $4. And then the water was like three dollars or something like that. So I got fourteen dollars for all of this. Got a prize. We gotta try the prize first. We always gotta try two of them hugs. Yup. Prize in, boy. Mm -hmm. Hell no. Now for pregame, they had a lot of hype videos and ceremonies. They even had a dude say a monologue from the supporter section. That's how much it matters. We chase championships. Those are the teams chase clout. We are Atlanta United. Always. Rising. Okay. Then they did this Golden Spike tradition to where they get like a prominent figure in Atlanta. This time they had a pro volleyball player to come and hit the spike to start the game. It's kind of corny to me, but hey, tradition is tradition. They got unlimited, unlimited pregame antics. Here go another pregame antic. We already done been through by three or four of them and they still going, bro. They was doing all them promos for like just the fans and just the supporters. Now, they doing one for the team, finally. <laughs> Y'all better come out here and whoop they ass, man, but it's living up to the hype for, for right now. We ready for
He's supposed to be the one teeing off. After that goal happened, the team decided they ain't want to play no football no more. I'm talking about straight soccer terrorism. Turnovers. Them boys don't know how to do counterattacks all of a sudden. They getting clamped up. They all go all modern looking like a fraud. I say, bro, what in the hell happened? What is going on right now? I ain't looking too high right now, man. I ain't too impressed right now. In the midst of all this shithousery and soccer terrorism, the crowd was still standing on business, standing on 10, piping that energy into the stadium. <laughs> He formed with a bunch of chances. I feel like I'm kind of cursed from going from watching Nail and Suarez and them not too long ago to watching this product that's on the field right now. So I'm kind of giving them a hard time, I guess. But in terms of supporter section, energy, creativity, all types of stuff I ain't ever heard before. The only thing that's kind of missing is TFOs, bro. I want to see a TFO or something. And the crowd, the crowd pretty cool too, so. It was a much awaited Atlanta United. I had my hopes up. I had my expectations real high. Did they meet my expectations? Let's start off with the stadium, Mercedes Benz. We already know that is a class, world class, generational, beautiful piece of architecture right there. It looked like the Germans made it. Whether you on the 100 level or the 200 level, you go get a good view of the field. And you got that big futuristic ring screen on the ceiling just in case you missing something or can't see some action. You could just watch it on a big screen. Definitely a must see stadium if you ever come to America or if you ever come to Georgia, you gotta go and, and witness at least something at Mercedes Benz Stadium, bro. It's a spectacle. I get a stadium of 10. Supporter section. Now my expectations were very, very, super, very high because I heard a lot of things about them Atlanta United boys when they got in them stands. Boy, they filled them stands out. They had three different sections. I believe it was three different sections for that supporter section to make that noise, pump that noise into the team. I heard songs that I ain't heard, some exclusive shit that's just exclusive to Atlanta that they were singing out there. They was jumping up and down, jumping side to side. 
doing what they do. The critiques I have though, I wanted to see a TIFO, at least one. A TIFO here, a TIFO there, maybe they did have the flags, but I'm trying to see the little vertical TIFO, you feel me? Strikes so fear into Orlando City heart. Also, the middle supporter section was T up like no other, but the left supporter section, it was sitting on their hands. Are y'all not the supporter section? The right side of the supporter section, they sitting on their hands. Are y'all not the supporter section? Are y'all just placeholders? So I was like, ah, eh, you feel me? But they was still, and I can't take that away from them, bro. They did pack the hell out. I'll give them like a 9.2. Quality of football. If y'all wasn't playing the worst team in probably MLS history, y'all would have been in trouble. I thought Thiago Almada was supposed to be that boy, that beast. Man, when I tell you there was a disaster class, Atlanta United was not impressive at all. Now, they did get one of the lamest goals I have ever seen. That Saba dude, like, first 10 minutes in the game. I don't know what the hell that goalkeeper was. But after that, it was just straight soccer terrorism, bro. I was sitting there like, bro, what in the hell am I watching right now? The only thing that saved them, Mr. Striker, Gia Kumaki. However the hell you say his name. He ended up hitting the outside that be easy. <laughs> Getting Atlanta up 2-0. So that, that kind of boosted the score just a little bit. But I ain't going to lie. I'm giving Atlanta United a 6.5 for quality of football, bro. That was bad. Even though they did win 2-0. Now for the crowd. The attendance. It was there. They in the NFL football stadium. And if y'all know anything about soccer in America, it's like fifth fiddle. Bro, they packed that stadium out. Even if the 300 level is like roped off, that is still impressive to pack out a stadium of that size. Not only did they pack it out, they was engaged. Thankfully, finally, I ran into a crowd who actually does chance with their goalkeeper. Every time their goalkeeper made a save, they say, Goose! They was chanting that boy last name. Every time the refs made a boneheaded call, they was, Refs, you suck! Refs, you suck! It going throughout the stadium. They had their hands out doing their stadium coordinated cheer. They A T L A clapping their hands. The supporters say to say Atlanta. The crowd say United. Look all the response that they had going on right there, man. I loved everything about that crowd, bro. Them Atlanta boys and girls is passionate about their football club, man. I'm gonna have to give the crowd a nine. So, the composite score for Atlanta United comes down to a total of a 8.7, which moves it ahead of Inter Miami and Houston Dynamo. So, it's sitting right there at that number one spot for right now. Do y'all think anybody will be able to dethrone Atlanta United for the best atmosphere in the MLS? Y'all let me know down in the comments, man. Next up, we going to Q2 Stadium to see them Austin FC boys, man. And they play in my club, NC Dallas, and we go whoop y'all ass.